네, 오늘은 누구에게 이야기를 들어볼까요? So today we have a clip sent to us from Rika from Germany. That's right. She's currently studying in the UK. So let's call her out. All right, Rika 씨, 나와주세요. As you might be able to see, I have naturally straight hair. And as it is, you often want what you don't have. And so when I grew up, I always wanted to have curly hair. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. My obsession led me to buy something that I deeply regret buying today. I went to a big shopping mall about a few years ago, and they were advertising curling irons. And of course, they got me to come over there, and they tested a curling iron on my hair. And my hair was double the length it is now. And so they did a really good job, and I loved the way it looked. And I bought the thing. It was way too expensive, I never ended up using it, and I regret buying it. You should embrace the hair that you got naturally. Okay. okay, so that's definitely some good advice for us. 맞아요. 뭐 uh-huh. 좋은 조언이라고 할수 있겠죠? Mm-hmm. 자, 그러면 구체적으로 어떤 이야기였는지 리카 씨는 무엇 지금 머리 스타일 이야기를 했는데 yeah. 무엇을 사서 후회했는지 같이 공부해 볼까요? All right. So the first thing she said is as you might be able to see I have naturally straight hair. Mm-hmm. As you might be able to see I have naturally straight hair. As you can see, 이거는 여러분 더 많이 익숙하게 외우셨죠 예전에. Mm-hmm. As you can see, as you can see, mm-hmm. 그냥 as 외우게 되는. As you can 되는, see, 네. I'm wearing a yellow shirt. Yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing a brown shirt. Mm-hmm. 그런데 as you can을 이제 확실히 볼수 없을지도 모르는 경우에 All right. can을 might be able to 내 mm-hmm. 네 단어로 늘린 거죠. Mm-hmm. Can 이제 can과 사실 might, can 붙이고 싶어도 붙일 수가 없어요. 조동사, 조동사. Mm-hmm. 그래서 can하고 똑같은 뜻을 가진 be able to mm-hmm. 이세 단어로 늘려놓은 건데 그 앞에 might. As you might be able to see 보시다시피 또는 보실 수도 있겠지만 mm-hmm. I have naturally straight hair. Mm-hmm. Straight hair는 직모이고요. Right. So she's saying naturally straight hair. The hair that grows from her 네. head. 그래서 naturally는 사실은 제가 만약에 메가 선생님에게 act naturally 하면은 자연스럽게 행동하라는 okay. 말이잖아요. <웃음> That's not so very natural. Not natural? No. No. Oh. 네. Okay. Act naturally. So naturally는 자연스럽게인데 mm-hmm. 자연스럽게 직모라는 말은 아니고 original. Original, right. Yeah. So we use that a lot. So it's like For example, I have naturally curly hair, mm. but I, you know, get perms and stuff. Mm. <웃음> 맞아요. 원래란 뜻으로 번역해 주시면 제일 uh-huh. 좋을 것 같아요. Naturally, 원래. Mm-hmm. I have naturally very dark hair. Right. 저는 머리 숱도 많고 색이 굉장히 진하다 이렇게 right. 얘기하면 naturally very dark. Uh-huh. We use it for eyes too. Like I have naturally brown eyes, mm. but I'm, you know, wearing lenses. So. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 <웃음> 원래는 어떻다라고 yeah. 할때 이제 자연의 그 상태가 네이처잖아요. Mm-hmm. So naturally, 자연스럽게가 아닐 때가 많은데 그 중에 right. 하나입니다. Okay. Naturally. Naturally. <웃음> 아, 그런 경우 naturally는 yeah. 뭐 당연하죠. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, naturally. So <웃음> <웃음> 뜻이 많은 단어예요. Yeah, so let's go to the next one. And as it is, you often want what you don't have. And as it is, you often want what you don't have. 네. As it is라는 것은 뭐 이것도 정말 뜻이 많지만 뭐 as it is with Things in general right. in life. 그냥 원래라고 번역을 해보고 mm-hmm. You often want 뭐뭐를 원할 때가 많습니다. Mm-hmm. What you don't have. Mm-hmm. 맞아요. 정말 특히 외모에 대해서 그런 것 같아요. Of course. 키가 작으면 크고 싶고 키가 크면 또 작아보고 싶고 right? I have really curly hair so I want straight hair. I get perms. I've got brown eyes. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing blue contacts. Yeah. There's a lot of things. 그렇죠. 그래서 뭐 나, 나에게 없는 것을 원할 때가 많잖아요. Mm-hmm. 그런 이야기를 하는 것이 이 문장입니다. I, you often want what you don't have. So for example, if you have a younger sister, then 여동생만, you want, yeah, then, then you want a brother maybe. Yeah, 저는 여동생이 둘이 있거든요. Uh-huh. 그래서 항상 자라면서 아 위에 누나가 있거나 형이 있거나 uh-huh. 이런 걸 바랬던 것 같아요. Uh-huh. 그런 이야기죠. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on. And so when I grew up, I always wanted to have curly hair. And so when I grew up, I always wanted to have curly hair. 그래서 저는 when I grew up, 자라면서 when I was growing up, mm-hmm. 네, I always wanted to have curly hair. 어, 항상 곱슬머리를 갖고 싶었어요. 인데요. Mm-hmm. So here in this sentence, 
grew up 이 부분을 mm-hmm. 두 가지로 해석할 수 있어요. Mm-hmm. 자라면서 right. as I was growing up. As I was growing up or just when I was when young. I became an adult. Yeah, when you became an adult. 네. Yeah, 중에, or a little bit older. 네. Yeah. 둘 중에 여기서는 뭘까요? 그러면 I think in this case probably she's saying when she was younger. Yeah. Cuz she always wanted to have curly hair. So it's like ah, from when she was young. 네. 여러분 이해 되셨나요? 두 가지 뜻이라는 게 사실 자라고 있었을 때 어렸을 때 이야기인지 아니면 when i grew up when i finally grew up yeah. 이 이야기인지 헷갈릴 수 있어요. 그렇지만 이제 mm-hmm. 항상 어렸을 때부터 이야기니까 mm-hmm. when i was growing up 의미로 쓰였다고 mm-hmm. 추측해 볼수 있겠죠? 오케이. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. In the next sentence we first have to take a look at the clip so let's watch. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. Okay, so the last part of that entire sentence was very, very fast and connected, right? 전부 다 이어지는 부분이 있었는데요. 한번 보여주시죠. All right, let's take a look at it. My mother has curls. But unfortunately, my brother's the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. 네, 일단 엄마는 머리가 곱슬인데 mm-hmm. 안타깝게도 곱슬 머리를 물려받은 건제 남동생뿐이에요라는 말입니다. Mm-hmm. My mother has curls는 다른 말로 curly, curly hair. hair. Right. 음. Curly hair는 세지 않죠. 그냥 불가산 명사라고 하는 right. hair는. It's just curly hair. But curls you can count. This is one curl. 맞아요. This is another curl. 그렇죠. <웃음> 곱슬머리로 이렇게 구부러져 있는 그 부분이 여러 개가 있겠죠. Right. 그래서 curls라고 셀수 있는 거고요. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately까지는 분명하게 들리다가 yeah. 그 뒤로 쭉 My brother is the only one, one lucky enough, enough to inherit those, those curls. 쭉 이어졌어요. Mm-hmm. 이것도 여러분도 실제로 여러분이 말을 할때 이게 나오는지 mm-hmm. 한번 생각해 보실 필요가 있어요. Mm-hmm. My brother is the only one lucky enough 쭉 끊어서 봐야 되겠지만 말할 때는 안타깝게도 그걸 물려받는 행운을 충분히 가진 사람은 <웃음> my brother 뿐이었다라는 말이었죠. Yeah. All right, let's hear this part two more times. Okay. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. Okay, so let's find out more. My obsession led me to buy something that I deeply regret buying today. My obsession led me to buy something that I deeply regret buying today. 이 집착, my obsession. Yeah. 어디에 대한 집착인가 하면 curls. With curls, yes. right? She loves curls. She wants them. Mm-hmm. She wants curls. 그렇죠. Because you often want what, what you, you don't, don't have. have. 가지고 있지 못한 것은 원하게 되니까 이제 mm-hmm. obsession이 생긴 거죠. Mm-hmm. Obsession은 집착이란 말이고요. Led me, 나를 끌고 간 거죠. 이끌어준 mm-hmm. 거죠. 또는 mm-hmm. 뭐 하게 만든 거죠. Mm-hmm. To buy something, 무언가를 사게 만들었는데 That I deeply regret buying. 구매를 깊이 후회하는 것을 사게 만들었어요. 그런데 mm-hmm. 언제 후회하는가 하면 Today, 지금, today. 오늘날 Not today on this day, right. but now. But now, right. So she didn't buy it today, obviously, but it's, she probably still has it. Mm-hmm. So she's still regretting it. Yeah. Even today. Even right? today. 그래서 오늘날 후회하게 만든 그것을 어, 사게 집착이 mm-hmm. lead 한 거죠. 그런데 이 문장 끝에 보고 buying today, regret buying today. 오늘 산 것을 후회한다고 오해하시면 안 되겠죠? Right. Yeah, it's not today that she purchased this thing. But she's still regretting it even today. Yes. Right. Okay, so next she says, I went to a big shopping mall about a few years ago. I went to a big shopping mall about a few years ago. 네, 몇년 전쯤에 큰 쇼핑몰에 갔습니다. 뭐 어렵지 않죠? Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. And the next sentence, we first have to take a look at the clip, so let's watch. And they were advertising curling irons. And they were advertising curling irons. 무슨 물건이 나왔죠? Okay, so she said, And they were advertising curling irons. 아, curling irons. Curling irons. Mm-hmm. 사실 iron이라고 하면은 그 다림이잖아요. Yes, this one. 네. For your clothes. 그, We 네. probably should iron that actually. <웃음> 다림질을 해야 돼요. <웃음> <웃음> 그런데 다림지 다림이가 이제 curling iron 여러분 많이 쓰시는 분들도 있을 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 yeah, curling iron이라고 
하죠. 한국어로도 네. 저도 정확하게 모르지만 uh-huh. 뜨겁게 해서 동그랗게 머리를 마는 데 쓰는 그 기구 있죠. Right, 그걸. not the flat iron, but the round, the cylindrical shaped one. That's like a tube. That's right. Yeah. 그것을 이야기하고 있습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay, so curling iron을 광고하고 있었어요. They were mm-hmm. advertising it. Ooh, so let's take a look at this two more times. And they were advertising curling irons. And they were advertising curling irons. And of course, they got me to come over there. And of course, they got me to come over there. 네, 그리고 당연히 그 직원들이 여기서 they는 of course the people who the were the workers. Yeah, the workers or the people who were selling the curling irons. Mm-hmm. They got me to come over there. Mm-hmm. 어보세요, 어보세요 한 거죠. Yeah. 네. It's like, Try out our curling iron. 맞아요. Yeah. 그렇게 이제 호객 행위 또는 뭐 홍보를 할때뭐 오게 하는 거를 they made me come over there라고 할지 아니면 they had, had me come over yeah. there라고 할지 they got me to come over there라고 할지 느낌이 조금씩 달라요. Yeah, they're different. So they got me to was like kind of they persuaded you to. Mm-hmm. They said, "Hey, this is nice. Come on over." 맞아요. 그런데 right? they made me 하면은 Oh, it's like they forced you. Come here now. Yeah. They're grabbing you. You have to come. 맞아요. I'm 맞아요. Pulling you. I'm going to tell your mom if you don't come, <웃음> you know. 진짜 싫은데. Yeah. 뭐 엄마한테 이럴 거야라고는 yeah. 안 통하겠지만 yeah. 그래도 진짜 싫은데 억지로 시킨 게 이제 made라면 여기서는 mm-hmm. got me는 어, 설득을 했겠고. Yeah. 그 결과 자신의 선택도 있었어요. Yeah. You chose to. Yeah. They persuaded you. So you said, "Okay, I'll come." 한번 가 볼까? 나 지금 yeah. 시간 좀 있는데 한번 만져나 볼까? 하면서 mm-hmm. 간 거죠. Come over there and then what happened? And they tested a curling iron on my hair. And they tested a curling iron on my hair. 제 머리카락에 컬링 아이언을 시험해 봤어요. Tested. 한번 mm-hmm. 해본 거죠. Mm-hmm. And when they test a product on you or when you are at their store, things usually just work smoothly, right? Of course, and the workers are trained professionals. Mm. I have an experience as well, but not with curling irons, with straightening irons uh-huh. or flat irons. Mm. And they'll do your hair very nicely, and they're like, yeah, I didn't know, buy this thing. <laughs> 네, 그래서 구매를 해서 집에 가서 보면 또잘안될 때 있죠. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. move on. Okay. Um, and my hair was double the length it is now. Mm-hmm. And my hair was double the length it is now. 네, 오늘 핵심 문장으로 소개했던 표현이 여기에 또 다르게 들어가 있죠. Right. And my hair was 제 머리카락은 double the length. length. 네. It is now. 지금에 비해 mm-hmm. 두 배의 일이었습니다. Right. 음. 이걸 또 바꾸자면 my hair was twice as long. As, yeah. As it is. Yeah. Yeah. Or, twice as long or it could be twice as short. Mm-hmm. Maybe you cut it. That's right. Yeah. So twice as long이라고 하든지 two times as long이라고 하든지 아니면 mm-hmm. double the length라고 하시면 되겠고요. Mm-hmm. 제 머리는 지금보다 두배 길이었어요. 그러니까 mm-hmm. 더 뭔가 달랐겠죠? Mm. Yeah. Very, very, mm. very long. And so they did a really good job and I love the way it looked. And so they did a really good job and I love the way it looked. Who's they here? They are the workers who were testing the curling iron on her hair. 맞아요. 그래서 they did a really good job. 그들이 잘했다라는 것은 머리를 정말 잘해줬어요. Mm-hmm. 와 이렇게 되는구나. And I love the way it looked. Mm-hmm. 여기서 말하는 it은? Her hair. Mm-hmm. She loved the way her hair looked. 네, 이렇게 영어에서는 이야기를 할때 분명히 앞에서 언급을 한 적은 없으나 she, yeah. she never actually said, uh, okay, she said hair, but in this sentence, she doesn't say hair. The hair, right. 그래도 유출을 해서 알수 있습니다. Yeah. 그래서 그분들이 정말 머리를 잘해줬고 I love the way it looked. 머리 자체가 mm-hmm. 잘 모양이 예뻤던 거죠. Mm-hmm. And then? And I bought the thing. And I bought the thing. 그리고 저는 그걸 샀어요. 라는 uh-huh. 문장인데요. 이 the thing이 또 이런 형태에서 많이 쓰이죠. Yeah, but it's kind of like when it's like some device that maybe you didn't really need. Yeah. So you use it kind of to like put that emphasis, like it's the thing, right? 맞아요. 그래서, I bought the thing yeah. and it was totally a waste of money. 그렇죠. 실제로 어, 그 물건이 만족스럽지 않거나 아니면 너무 비쌌거나 약간 구매를 후회할 때 the thing, I bought the thing 아니면 처음에 마음에 들었어요. You bought something, you really liked it, it was working fine, right. but then it broke, it broke three days after that. The thing just broke on me. 맞아요, 맞아요. The thing just broke. 그래서 그때부터는 더 이상 그 제품의 이름을 쓰거나 뭐 이렇지 않고 yeah. the thing, yeah. 그냥 그거. When you don't like it anymore, the thing. 음. Yeah. 또는 
이제 아까 이야기했던 게 마음에 안 들었을 때 음흠. 그리고 고장 났을 때 음흠. 또는 너무 비쌀 때도 아무튼 부정적인 의미가 좀 들어갔을 때에는 더 띵이라고 합니다. The thing cost me like a thousand dollars. Yeah, 음. for 아시겠죠? sure. The thing. Mm-hmm. And then it was way too expensive. I never ended up using it, and I regret buying it. It was way too expensive. I never ended up using it, and I regret buying it. 너무 비쌌고 그걸 한 번도 안 썼고 한번 mm. <웃음> <웃음> 후회해요 했습니다. I never ended up using it. Mm-hmm. 그 뒤로 머리를 뭐 바로 잘랐는지 어떤지 모르겠지만 mm-hmm. 쓴 일이 없다고 합니다. 문장 이렇게 I never ended up using it 이것만 공부하고 넘어가면 생활 영어 스타일이 아니죠. Right. You can change it up to uh-huh. I ended up never using yes. it or I ended up not using it. Yeah, you yeah. read my mind. Mm-hmm. 제 마음을 읽었습니다. <웃음> yes, we were a team. You, yes, I never ended up using it. I ended up Not 네. using it, yeah, not or never using it. using it. 그렇죠. Not using it, never using it. 둘다 뒤에다 붙일 수 있어요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 후회하는 거고요. Mm-hmm. And then, you should embrace the hair that you got naturally. You should embrace the hair that you got naturally. 네, 원래 그 자연스럽게가 아니고 원래 가진 이 머리카락을 mm-hmm. you should embrace 받아들여야 해요. Yes. So just embrace it. What other things can you embrace? You can embrace your appearance. Uh-huh. Just embrace it. Okay. 그렇죠. 외모를 그냥 받아들이는 거. And anything uh-huh. else? Uh, you can embrace people. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like give them a hug. Embrace someone. True. Embrace 자체가 이제 원래 뭐 다른 언어에서 와서 포옹하다라는 뜻이에요. Mm-hmm. Embrace. Mm-hmm. 포옹하다 또는 키스하다라는 뜻인데 embrace가 받아들이는 거죠. So you can embrace people in the physical way. Right. 그렇지만 그 사람의 성격이 뭐 바, 완벽하진 않아요. Yeah, 그래도 yeah. embrace 할수 있죠. Yeah, you can embrace them in that way too. Like something that it basically means you should love something or you should accept something. 네, 받아들인다. So I'm just going to embrace her, you know, even though I don't like her personality, you know. I'll just I'll accept it. I'll love her. 그렇죠. And 네. and then I'll embrace her. Mm-hmm. Two 아. ways. <웃음> 맞아요. 그래서 embrace는 <웃음> 포옹하다 또는 받아들이다라는 그 뜻. 양해를 하고 이해를 해주는 거죠. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. But b- before we do, we have to review it, right? That's right. Let's take a look at it two more times. Because she s h i t n o w j u s e a As you might be able to see, I have naturally straight hair. And as it is, you often want what you don't have. And so when I grew up, I always wanted to have curly hair. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. My obsession led me to buy something that I deeply regret buying today. I went to a big shopping mall about a few years ago, and they were advertising curling irons. And of course, they got me to come over there, and they tested a curling iron on my hair. And my hair was double the length it is now. And so they did a really good job, and I loved the way it looked. And I bought the thing. It was way too expensive. I never ended up using it. And I regret buying it. You should embrace the hair that you got naturally. As you might be able to see, I have naturally straight hair. And as it is, you often want what you don't have. And so when I grew up, I always wanted to have curly hair. My mother has curls, but unfortunately, my brother is the only one lucky enough to inherit those curls. My obsession led me to buy something that I deeply regret buying today. I went to a big shopping mall about a few years ago, and they were advertising curling irons. And of course, they got me to come over there, and they tested a curling iron on my hair. And my hair was double the length it is now. And so they did a really good job, and I loved the way it looked. And I bought the thing. It was way too expensive. I never ended up using it. And I regret buying it. You should embrace the hair that you got naturally. With hair, your appearance, you should of course embrace it the yeah. way it is. But with your English or English skills, you should never just embrace it. No, you should always be striving to improve. 그렇죠. 영어 실력 같은 경우에는 그냥 그대로 받아들이지 말고 키워야겠죠. Yes. 자, 그래서 또 재밌는 표현들 몇 가지 준비해봤습니다. It's time for street smart. smart.